Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, my name is Layla. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I hope that you consider subscribing and tell a friend to tell a sister to tell a coworker, to tell an aunt, to tell a grandma, to tell everybody you know that like bags and planners to go ahead and consider joining the SP fam. I hope you're already subscribed. If you're not, please go ahead and do so. Or you can wait to the end of the video and see if my style, my personality, and my channel might be something that you're interested in. I post videos on Saturdays with a few bonuses in between when I have new things to show or to go over um, random days of the week. But again, once a week on Saturdays, there will be a bag or planner video. So I just did the what's in my bag of my new coach rainbow tote that I got from um, my sister for my birthday and I was about to go ahead and pack everything up and switch into my leopard tote um, that I picked up and showed you guys in my birthday haul but I decided why not just go ahead and do the what's in my bag video now and I can do it kind of like as a reverse and as I put things together and put them in the new tote it's kind of like a what's in my bag or more like what I'm putting in the bag. <laughs> so I thought that would be cool and different and neat. Um, I've seen people kind of go from one purse to the other on their channel those videos are usually pretty cool so I thought this will kind of be like a way to kind of do something similar just with a little twist so it's kind of like a what's in my bag but it's more like a me cleaning up after previously recording a what's in my bag and placing things in the new tote so if you're new here and you didn't see the birthday haul video this is my let me see if I can move I'm going to move that rainbow one out of the way since we are done with her she's empty this is my new coach tote it came out last year 2020 I don't know how I missed it I do love leopard I totally would have purchased this as soon as it dropped um, but I wasn't aware of it but in watching what's in my bag videos in the rainbow tote I came across this one and another one that I'm still waiting to uh, uh, receive I'm hoping when it arrives that it's like a day that I'm off because I want to kind of do an unboxing with it but y'all know if you're not new here you know I'm impatient, so it's hard for me to not open things as soon as I get them. But this is the coach tote that I did go ahead and pick up. Um, of course, I you know opened it, but hopefully the new one comes where I can kind of unbox it. But this is the leopard print. Um, again, it's absolutely gorgeous. I did find out about it on YouTube, and I want to say I got mine off of eBay, um, but I did see plenty on Macari. It is new with tags, um, so it's never been used. I just pulled off all of the actual wrapping and packaging and all that fun stuff. I did pick up a wristlet as well. I think I found the wristlet on Macari for the best price because um, I didn't really like the style of the wallet that went with the bag, but I am a huge matchy-matchy wallet and bag kind of person. So with Coach, when I can't find a wallet that I like or the style of it, then I do go ahead and use the wristlet as well. Excuse me, use the wristlet as a wallet. So this is called the corner zip wristlet if you've never seen it. Um, inside it just looks like this. And then of course on this side there are two credit card slots which is where I put my two main cards and then I just put the rest of my cards and cash right in there. And then of course my coins are um, either in my Rosalie coin purse which is where they are currently or I use my round coin purse from Louis Vuitton. I just kind of switch back and forth depending on how I'm feeling. So of course I'm not going to pack this up on camera. Um, Where's the line? I'm going to take whatever's left in here and then what's currently in my Louis Vuitton wallet because I did carry my Neo No Way for a day. Y'all know how we are. We just get to switching. So I'm going to move all these things over off camera. Excuse me, off camera, of course, because that is private wallet essentials. I did go ahead and grab this corner wristlet that I previously picked up from Coach back in a, a while ago when I picked up a couple of other wristlets. This one will be used for the on-the-go um, planner pouch. So this is just so that I always have some goodies with me in case I do need to um, write something down and I you know, don't want to pull out my whole planner or in case I do want to drop a few stickers like the doctor's office visit or what have you. So I've got, sorry y'all, forgetting to talk through it. So I've got a sticky pad. I've got a ballpoint pen in case there is special paper you need to write on. I'm not a ballpoint pen girl. I'm a gel ink girl. Um, but in case there's those kind of special like glossy papers like receipts at restaurants sometimes, they can be pretty shiny and hard to write on with gel. So I like to keep a ballpoint pen on me just in case. And of course, you know, sometimes using the waitress's pen, especially in Rona period, is not <laughs> the safest. So then I have a tiny pair of purple tweezers just in case I want to drop a few stickers. I do have stickers in the back of my planner. Um, the way that it's set up, it does have a huge back pocket so I do have some plant some stickers in there for kind of on the go planning if I need them um, what else goes in here my highlighter my mini whiteout my highlighter of course is a um, a mild liner so then I have my whiteout a mild liner um, I have this Air Force pen gems pen if you're new here I'm an Air Force veteran so I do um, have the Air Force collection from Pigeons and then what else? Oh, my tool pen. This is my favorite pen right now. Um, this one has gold and then it has this really pretty pink on the end here, like a baby pink. Um, and then I replaced it with uh, 0.7 gel ink. So love, love that. 
And I think that's everything for this pouch. I've got stuff everywhere. Yeah, I think that's everything for this pouch. So this is my on-the-go planner pouch. So we are going to toss her in there. And we can go ahead and toss my planner in there. And I'm turning things kind of, let me see. Make sure you guys can see, okay. I'm turning things kind of backwards just because I like things to face me when I'm wearing the purse. And then, of course, the emblem to be, you know, on the outside facing, you know, the world or what have you. Um, so let's see here. Then we have, am I going to keep this? Yeah, I think I'm going to keep this one with the red to kind of go with the leopard. So this is my lady pouch. So in here I have liners, perfume, wipes, um, uh, what do you call it, tampon, all the things you need in the bathroom for lady business so we are going to put that in there and then i have my six key holder in the black or noir with my driver's license tucked in the back that's where i like to keep it so if i want to grab and go i can sometimes i toss my driver's license back not driver's license <laughs> sometimes i toss my uh tag i toss my debit card or my credit card back there if i literally just want to grab and go and i just literally take my keys and go so then I have my Ray-Ban sunglasses case. I got this from TJ Maxx on clearance for $3. Inside is not Ray-Bans. They are some cute uh, sunglasses from TJ Maxx. I'm not a fan of spending a lot of money on sunglasses because I have lost them to just falling off my head, the beach, just you name it. I've got my lotion here, which is just, um, what is this, Hibiscus Paradise. This is a Bath and Body Works lotion. I love these sizes. I realize there are other larger lotion bottles or other large but small purse size lotions, but I swear this one is like the best size for your purse. Like it's so tiny, you can slip it anywhere. Doesn't take up a lot of real estate, not heavy at all. Have my breath strips here. I love these. Listerine has some, but I like buying the Walmart brand. You get more bang for your buck, more in a pack, less money, score. I <laughs> got my chapstick that I love, which is Vaseline. Then I have a pin gem pen in purple. Purple's my favorite color. If you're new here, this is another pin gem pen. It's called pin gem because there is a gem on top. If you have not heard of them, you definitely should check them out. This one is a twist up. I do have a gel ink. Um, refill in here from AliExpress. So I love, love, love Geo Ink and I love this pen being easily able to slip into a purse without having to worry about the ink bleeding because you have to twist it to get it out and it's not super easy to twist it. So it's really easy to, you know, slip in a purse and not have to worry about it. I have my mask. This one's from Victoria's Secret. I have my phone, which is the new iPhone 12 with the purple, um, the purple color. And then I just have this clear um, glitter kind of what do you call it? It's got like itty bitty little rhinestones on it, if you can see it. So I love, love, love this case. So we will slip that in there. And then I have my Rosalie coin purse, which I use as a um, place to put my, like I said, my coins. If I'm not using my round coin purse, I slip the coins in here. This spot is not large enough to hold a credit card. On the Victorine wallet, the zipper spot is, so I use it for extra cards. Um, but on this one, it's not, so I go ahead and use it for coins. It is a wipeable texture in there, so if I want to clean it, I can. But I like using this for coins, and then sometimes I like using my round coin purse. In here, I keep gift cards, reward cards, um, a veteran's card for helping you get your, um, what should I say? Get your benefits, get all that you deserve. <laughs> so if you don't know what I mean or you wanna know what I mean, DM me on Instagram. I will definitely let you know and send you a picture of that card if you need his info. He is based out of Florida and he will help you get what you need. So yeah, gift cards, rewards cards, tiny picture of the family. Um, I have this cool little Toyota rewards card. I drive a Sequoia and this kind of helps you get like different points and stuff on services. And then of course it makes like your next service a little cheaper. So cards like that is what I keep in here. And then most of this chaos stuff goes into this pouch that I recently showed in my birthday haul video. Pick this up from Dee Dee's Discounts. It says, drink some coffee, put on some lipstick, and handle it with these gorgeous gold lips. It's got a gorgeous gold zipper. So I thought this was really cute, and I combined two pouches that I used to keep in my purse and kind of put everything in one. So that was my wet one. So I have some wipes. I have a power bank. This one I've shown in a couple videos. I'm sorry, but Amazon doesn't have this exact one available anymore. But it comes with a droid cord, the C type cord and then an iPhone cord and it's very very useful I absolutely love this one they have lots of others so if you're interested you definitely should check it out then I have this very small mirror I don't want to blind you but it's got rhinestones on all four sides and it's got this adhesive on the back this came from Hobby Lobby it's actually designed to go on your cell phone 
But I purchased it because it's very thin and it can easily slip into anything very tiny if I'm going to just going to have like a date night bag or which I was so mad y'all date night I forgot to put this in the freaking bag. So I end up just using my cell phone camera to reapply my lip gloss. But this is great to slip in any tiny bag. So I like to slip this on the side behind the wipes with the mirror facing this part so that it doesn't get scratched up. Then I have my rewetting drops. If you're new here, I wear contacts. I'm nearsighted. I have some purple tweezers. I love these. I pe recently picked these up from the Dollar Tree. They have a comb on this end, which is really, really neat. So you can comb your eyebrows, get them to lay down the way you need to, and then pluck any extra hairs if you need to on the go. I have this bag holder, which is a Louis Vuitton canvas. I picked this up off of Etsy um, quite some time ago. If you're unfamiliar, it's a bag holder so that if you go somewhere where you can't get a chair just for your bag, you don't want to place it on the floor, you just place this on the table and it just will sit on the table like that. And then your bag goes down here and it can be held by your bag. So I keep this in here just in case I need it. And then I keep one of those perfume sprays. If you're not familiar with this, it's off Amazon. It's got a sprayer so that you can spray yourself or whatever you need to. And the bottom looks like this. You just put it on top of your perfume and just pump a few times until you see the liquid fill up in the chamber and you're good to go. I've got a nail file just in case I need to touch up any edges or anything. Nail glue. If you're new here, I'm wearing press-ons because I like the flexibility of being able to be long today and short tomorrow for work <laughs> then i've got this cool brush it's kind of like a brush on this end with these types of bristles and then you've got the comb on this end i love this compact little bad boy i got it off of amazon and then i have this cute little brush here that's got these types of bristles that i like for like my edges and stuff it's made by annie you get it from the beauty supply store and then i just have a scrunchie around it for when i need to pull my hair up let me go and just pull this back because i don't have any hair to pull up this was in case i ever got caught in the rain i need to pull my hair up i would have one on here you know what, I'm gonna leave it here just because my daughter doesn't normally carry a scrunchie in hers. So I'm gonna leave it on here just in case she needs it or even if a friend needs it, you know what I mean? It's not hurting anybody being on here. So I'm gonna leave it on here. But this is a scrunchie in the event you need to pull your hair up or out of your face or whatever, but this brush I love. Then I have my infamous pill case. This is from Amazon, absolutely love this thing. It's got three large compartments so I keep things that I might need on the go like Motrin, um, pain med, like Gabapentin, um, Benadryl if I or one of my kids have an allergic reaction. Um, what else is in there? I think I have one dose of my daily medications, my prescriptions that I take just in case I leave the house and forget, stuff like that. So I, like I said, I wear contacts, so I have an extra pair just in case, worst case scenario, something happens. I've got this little container. This is a Mentos gum container, but I pulled the wrapper off and I actually use it to put the Mentos mint, I'm sorry, not the Mentos. Is it the Mentos or is it the extra? Okay. So I used to buy extra chewy mints and I could only find them on Amazon. I linked them in a video and ever since I did that, I can never get them. They are always sold out, never available. So I've recently found the Mentos chewy mints. I want to say at CVS <laughs> and I need to get some more because as you can see, it's pretty skimpy. Um, but I do like the Mentos um, chewy mints. So I put those in here in the what was the gum container. I like this one because it's very compact and it can fit anywhere. And then I had recently tried these and absolutely loved them. So I'm on like my fourth container. But this is the Icebreaker Cinnamon Mints. I love these. My kids can't stand 